Hello, this is Dr. Robert Nassif bringing you a short travelogue about my recent trip to Kuwait and the World Autism Congress. This past November 11th through 13th, I was honored to be invited as a key presenter at the World Autism Congress in Kuwait City. The mission of the World Autism Organization is improving the quality of life for people with an autism spectrum condition and their families around the world. My talk at the conference was titled Autism in the Family, Getting the Big Picture. The sense of excitement was palpable as I paused and took in the sight of over 500 people at the opening session from over 32 countries. There was calm and comfort in the room in the common cause and struggle. This conference was hosted by the Kuwait Autism Center, which was founded by Dr. Samira El Saad, the parent of a child with autism, who is shown here in the opening ceremonies. The entire conference was bilingual, Arabic and English. In my professional work, I often serve as an interpreter between parents and professionals. Now I needed an interpreter when asked a question in Arabic or to hear a presentation in Arabic. There was an incredible outpouring of parents and professionals from all over the Middle East, Asia, Africa, North and South America, and Europe as people mingled and browsed the exhibits in between sessions. On the first day of the conference, I met Paul Shatuk, the outgoing president of the organization, and professionals from Saudi Arabia. Stephen Shore, a friend, uh, and I met a young man with autism from Saudi Arabia who is now attending university there and shown in this photo. Presentations covered a wide range of topics, from early diagnosis to adulthood, including the progress in developing countries setting up programs for children on the spectrum. That evening, on the first day of the conference, a visit to the local souk made for an enjoyable evening with new friends. On the following day, my talk covered the lifelong process of living and loving your family member, changing what can be changed, and finding serenity with what cannot be changed. I raised the question of whether autism is a puzzle to be to be solved, or a child or grown-up to be embraced and loved as he or she is. This dichotomy is unavoidable. It often obsesses families and professionals. The answer is that it is both, and the balance is found through struggle and reflection. The multinational audience at the conference enthusiastically embraced my most profound lesson from raising and loving my son, Tariq, with autism. I put it this way in my first book. I tried so hard to change you, and in the end, it was you who changed me. Instead of becoming the son I wanted you to be, you made me become the man I needed to be. After my talk, parents and professionals lingered to chat. The themes of family life are so similar to what I hear in the United States, with just a cultural twist for spice. This image of a father and son touched many at the conference. Indeed, autism in the family has no borders. After a traditional dinner and mingling with new friends and colleagues, I got to sit on a camel. This shot was a big hit with my family and friends back home. On the last day of the conference, a visit with new international friends to the downtown mall showcased the modern evolution of Kuwait and the region. After sunrise on November 12th, I flew back to the United States with a deepened understanding of the human heart with no borders and the world wide web of children and their grown-ups.